Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to this channel or you're an old subscriber, um, you probably know or you don't know that I completed my yoga teacher training in 2020 of last year. When I went through my yoga journey and my teacher training, I obviously learned how to teach yoga, but I also learned a lot of techniques for meditation. Meditation is hard, especially if you're new to meditating and living slower, I guess. If you think a lot or you have a lot on your mind or you know, you just live this fast paced life, it can seem hard to do, but it's not impossible, I promise. There are a million apps out there that can help you meditate and it's a journey, just like everything else. It's a process and you have to put in the work in order to feel the benefits. Meditation and yoga both combined have completely changed my life. Um, so don't give up if you're just starting now, just know that it's gonna take some time and it's not impossible. Um, even for me nowadays, it's sometimes hard to meditate. So the tips that I wanna share with you guys today are breathing exercises. And breathing exercises are a way to help meditate. Um, sometimes, you know, we have a lot racing in our mind. We're just thinking about whole bunch of different things. We have work, we have school, we're just human beings in this fast changing world. With that being said, doing breathing exercises while meditating is a way to help you meditate, if that makes sense. Breathing in general is just great for anxiety if you have stress going on, um, if you want to calm your mind, if you have a lot of decisions to make. It's just one of my favorite ways to center all of your thoughts. I'm gonna share with you guys three breathing exercises that I've really enjoyed. I've learned them throughout my yoga journey and teacher training and just with my own practice. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't give up in your journey and let's get started. Teachers who teach meditation, teach it first with breathing exercises or pranayama breath. The pranayama breath translates to breath control and that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing here. We are going to be controlling our breath in order to kind of calm the mind and help us meditate. Before we get started, if you want to follow along with the video and or pause the video and do the breathing exercises, um, go ahead and do that or you can do them at your own time but I won't time it for a long time because it would just be a long video, but I recommend to do these. Maybe if you're just starting out, um, do them for five minutes. If you've meditated before, maybe do them for 10 to 15 minutes, and then you can slowly increment your time. This one's one of my favorites, and it's probably like my number one. It's called alternate nostril breathing. So what we're gonna do here is do this with your hand. So I'm grabbing my right hand here. You're gonna need your thumb, you're gonna need your index finger, and your middle finger. So what we're gonna do is place both of these fingers, your index finger and your middle finger, right here on the center of your forehead. Your thumb is going to cover your right nostril. And then with your ring finger and pinky, or maybe just your ring finger, you're going to cover your left nostril. So it kind of looks like this. And then it looks like this from the right hand side. I'm gonna try to turn around as I breathe out so you guys can see the full range of motion and how it works out. Thumb to right nostril, index finger to left nostril. So we're gonna start with the right. We're gonna inhale through the right nostril. Cover the right nostril. Exhale through left nostril. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. One more time. Inhale left. Exhale right. Okay, we did it three times. I hope that you guys got the hang of it. It's one of my favorite breathing exercises because it's a little bit more controlled. So the next one that I wanna share with you guys is called box breathing. And box breathing I actually learned from a friend that was in my teacher training and I loved it. I love the idea of it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four, and release for four. So every inhale 
every hold and every exhale is going to be four counts. So I will cue you guys and we can do it together or you can pause this video, try it on your own or do this at your own time. It's great and you can see all the benefits right away. I'm gonna close my eyes. You guys can keep them open if you'd like. You can have them just forward and down, whatever works for you. Inhale for four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. Hold for four. Inhale for four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. There you go, you get the gist of it. It's pretty much a little box that you do. You inhale, hold, exhale, hold. You wanna do this for four counts each. I like to do four counts, but if you feel a little bit more comfortable as you go, you can do five or six counts, but that's a little bit harder. Um, so yeah, that was box breathing. The last one that I wanna share with you guys is called Ujjayi Breath. If you've done yoga before, you probably have heard of Ujjayi Breath. So Ujjayi Breath is a pranayama that we use in yoga. I'm sure you've heard of it. When you've gone to classes, the teacher just cues, use your Ujjayi breath or find your Ujjayi breath because this type of breath control is what helps you with the physical asanas. Ujjayi pranayama breath is also known as ocean breath because it sounds a little bit like ocean, pretty much. Ujjayi breath is probably one of the hardest ones out of all of these three, in my opinion. It took me a couple of years to master um, Ujjayi breath and actually know that I was doing it correctly. Um, so I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I can. If I don't make sense, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna really, really try. Um, so your Ujjayi breath is going to be an inhale through your nose and a very, very slow exhale through your nose again. What makes Ujjayi breath different is once that exhale is coming up to your throat, you're going to create a small contraction in the back of your throat that's going to create that ocean sound. So it kind of sounds like this. You're gonna inhale. And when you exhale. I hope you guys heard that. I try to be really loud. Um, it's really hard to explain because everything that you're doing is internally Let's try this again, sit in a comfortable seated position. And you're gonna inhale very deep through your nose. Feel the air just go into your lungs and down. When you exhale, you're gonna exhale, but once it hits the back of your throat, you're just gonna create a small restriction. So the way that you can use your ujjayi breath for meditation is just pretty much just keep doing the inhale and exhales and time it. Do five minutes or 10 minutes and just increase it as you get more comfortable. If you do yoga already or you go to yoga class, you're probably going to realize that you already do your ujjayi breath. Just pay a little bit more attention to your practice and you probably already have an ujjayi breath. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if it was helpful. If you try any of these exercises, let me know down below. Um, let me know which one's easier, which one's harder. Alternate nostril breathing is one of my favorites. Let me know which one your favorite is. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really want to put out more content about yoga and just sharing the benefits of yoga, meditation, and I just want to share a little bit more of what my journey has been with yoga and meditation and how it has impacted my life in a more positive way the last two or three years. So hopefully you guys like this type of content and if you do, please give it a big thumbs up and I think that's it. I'll talk to you guys later and don't forget to come back next week for another video and that is all friends. I'll see you next week. Bye.